Hello, beautiful Scorpio. It's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. How's everybody doing? Sending you much love and many blessings. For those of you that are new, for those of you returning, thank you for allowing me to read for you. It's always such an honor. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please know that this is a strictly Scorpio channel. And if you like my style and you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. I do do two videos a day for Scorpio, seven days a week. So, if you would like to be part of our family here, then go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to smash that like, you guys, so other Scorpios can know about our channel and get their messages. Everything that you need in regards to me is listed down below. Just click on Show More or to get a live reading. If you want a personal reading from me, through my website, www.heartpassiontarot.com, it can only happen there, okay? I'm just trying to eliminate the imposters. Um, there are no second, third, fourth Instagram accounts. There's only one Scorpio, okay? So don't get scammed. Uh, for those of you that were having difficulty with the Amazon wish list, I have now created a USA one and a UK and U EU one. Oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> um, all right, so that's there for you. Okay. All right, Scorpio, everything you need is listed down below. Let's see what we've got for Scorpio for today. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Who's in love with Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? In regards to love, please. Scorpio, you're right here. Who are you arguing and fighting with? Or you're in disagreement with somebody? What's going on? I caught it, Scorpio. <laughs> Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the Knight of Pentacles in the now position. Or somebody who's just moving really, really slow. Uh, what's hidden from you is your wish fulfillment. In the recent past, we have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It doesn't have to be. It's just somebody who is taking quick action or saying they were going to. For Scorpio, please. The Ace of Swords in the near future. Communication, clarity, honesty, victory for you, Scorpio. The Two of Cups for you. For somebody you love. Somebody who you feel a uh, soulmate tie with. For your person, the Nine of Wands. The Page of Wands in your hopes and fears. The Queen of Swords in the outcome along with the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So I feel this Empress wants to speak the truth to you here. Let's see. Could be an Emperor too. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Scorpio in the recent past, your angels? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Lovers. Okay, so there was somebody that you wanted to move things along with, Scorpio. Male or female now watching me, right? Roles can be reversed. Somebody who you felt a strong um, soulmate tie with. There was love here. There was love here. I feel somebody in the equation is trying to figure out what happened. And they're kind of going with the flow, you know, um, believing in, in the divine. But they're kind of stuck trying to get clarity. Maybe it's you, Scorpio about this situation. Because I feel everything was fine, but I kind of just got stuck. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in the near future? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in the near future? The Wheel, I mean the, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. What was I going to say? The Wheel of Pentacles? The Wheel of Fortune. So somebody's coming towards you quite slowly. They're taking their time, but they do feel like they have a destiny with you. All right. Somebody has hidden emotions for you with the moon card being here. Cancer Pisces energy. Okay. This is somebody who knows how to give an equal give and take, Scorpio. This could, person could be a little bit older than you. They could be an emperor. Okay. They're established. They're older. They're wise. Why is the nine of cups here hidden from you? 
Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here, Scorpio? The King of Swords. So we have the King and the Queen of Swords. We have the Emperor and the Empress here. It's interesting. And we have, um, okay, we don't have the Queen of Cups yet. Okay. So I feel this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is really your wish fulfillment. This is somebody who you see stability with. This is somebody who you see yourself owning a home with, having a family with. Okay, it could be just their energy. Don't forget, Scorpio, you can also show up as the Queen or King of Swords. So can Virgo. The Page of Cups, I don't know who's offering this apology, but somebody's going to send a very sweet message. And I feel somebody wants a brand new start here. There we go. We've got the King and the Queen of Cups. So there is love here between the two of you. Um, I'm feeling this particular individual that you're dealing with here, Scorpio, or maybe this is you, has gone through extreme heartache in the past. I feel this apology is coming to you because you were dealing with somebody who was very selfish in the past. It was all about them. Okay. I see justice being restored. I see celebration. I see reconciliation for you and this person. But it's hidden from you at this time. The Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Uh huh. So you could be dealing with a single parent or you're a single parent. Maybe it's just a very nurturing kind of love. Like a motherly kind of love that you give this person. Or vice versa. Wow. Okay, we've got the Ace of Swords, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Hold on. So we see victory, we see abundance. We see whoever the single parent is. It looks like they're defending their rights. Or fighting to have justice in a situation. Um, somebody may be making a choice to walk away from their past. Okay? Either you or somebody may be dealing with a legal situation here. Mm -hmm. King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, we've got like three kings here so far. So we definitely have the emperor and the empress. So we're dealing with somebody who is all the kings here. I feel this king is working really, really hard. They're trying to manifest what they want to bring into um, into fruition here. And what is that exactly? Card down, Virgo. I mean, Scorpio. <laughs> they want to come towards you quite passionately, quickly. This person could want marriage or wanting to build a foundation with you, Scorpio very interesting someone's coming to offer their cup somebody wants a reconciliation with you Scorpio I asked what the reconciliation was about it's your wish come true it's your happily ever after I think this is something that you've been waiting for for a long time. If it's not you, then it's them that feels this way. Okay? Let's keep clarifying the cards here. The Two of Cups for you. Why is it here? For Scorpio. Uh-huh. So... Somebody could be relocating or just moving away from the connection. It could be you, Scorpio.
Scorpio. Let's see what you're doing. Mm. You're going back and forth as to whether or not you should walk away from a King of Wands here. I feel the energy is so Scorpio that you want to move on. This King of Cups, though, I mean, this King of Wands that wants to come towards you and offer you love. Even though you want to walk away from this energy. Yeah, you see? This King of Cups is coming to offer you love. Scorpio. And what's going to happen? Okay, there's going to be some truth that's revealed to you, some kind of communication. Mm. This person is going to tell you how they want to marry you and offer you stability, Scorpio. Get ready. The Nine of Wands for your person. Now, maybe they see you this way. Yes, they see you this way, especially if I'm talking to a single mother. Um, you're waiting for your ships to come in. There will be communication that comes in for you, Scorpio, but it leaves you feeling stuck and overthinking a lot. When it comes to having a reconciliation with a certain individual. Could be this Queen of Wands. You guys are matching each other up over here. Okay, someone's coming towards you, regardless of whether or not you want it or not. It's going to make you really happy. Um, I am seeing there's going to be some overthinking. It could be an earth sign, a fire sign, an air sign, a water sign. But what I'm seeing here is that um, there's happiness to be had and stability in a home life. Somebody is coming towards you to offer you this, Scorpio. If you want it, you're going to be stuck in your head, though, about it. In your hopes and fears, we have the Page of Wands. A message about, hey, can we start over again, Scorpio? It may require strength on your behalf to leave whatever happened in the past behind you, Scorpio, in order to be with this person. I feel whoever we're talking about here does live at a distance from you. Okay, there's going to be a lot of communication going back and forth. Uh, possibly talks about marriage, but again, the message is coming out that you're going to be overthinking it when it comes to your happiness. The Lovers is here with the Ace of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the World. So I feel if you can find the strength to go for it, a Scorpio. You will have love in your life. You will be with somebody who truly loves you. And there will be a gift too. And this gift will enable you to close out one chapter in your life and have a brand new one. Okay, I'm going to put these cards away. I'm only going to take the Queen of Swords that came out in the outcome. So why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So, this person sees a future with you, but you need to know that this person didn't act right in the past. This person has a tendency to um, be egotistical, look out for their own, what satisfies them. I feel they're leaving that kind of energy behind. Scorpio. Okay. This person's been way up in their head for a long time about you. They are coming towards you, Scorpio. You're going to have to have strength when it comes to coming together with this person, going out with them, having a reconciliation. You guys may butt heads here. Here you are, Scorpio. There is love between the two of you, though. Okay? And there is stability being offered here. The advice is for you to take things slowly. But I feel you're going to make a choice here. I 
feel something is going to be given to you, but it's hidden from you right now. Whatever is going to be given to you from this individual is going to make you make you very, very happy. Okay? Again, I feel I'm talking to somebody who gives real motherly, nurturing kind of love, or they're a single parent. There's a brand new beginning here. Okay? And out of nowhere, Scorpio, you have your true love card here. All right, so that's what I have for you. You will be coming together with somebody pretty special who wants to offer you stability and love. And I feel they've changed their old ways of being. All right, Scorpio, we'll take a look and see what's happening tomorrow. Sending you much love and many blessings, and you take good care of yourself. Love and kisses, gang gang. Bye.